So today we're going to go over how to set the preload on the bearings on the gauge wheels on the 2S, 3S, and BD7600 box drills. Uh, this is a critical feature on these drills. This supports the weight of the machine, so we need to make sure that the preload on these gauge wheel bearings is correct in order to maintain support for the machine. So we've already replaced all our bearings, our seals, we've reassembled our shaft, we're ready to, to go. We've got our cross bolts in with 1 seconds inch gap between the hub and the flange of the nut. So we're ready to set the torque on this castle nut. Now this nut is torqued to 120 inch pounds and then we want to re-roll our bearings, re-torque it to 120 inch pounds and then take our castle nut to the next available hole so we can install our cotter pin. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our torque wrench and we're going to torque it to 120 inch pounds. Double check it. Now we want to give our bearings a spin, fully seat those tapered bearings. And we're going to retorque it. Notice we get a little bit more movement out of that. So we've torqued our nut, and as you can see here, we're not quite lined up with any of our holes, so we need to go to the next available hole that's going to allow us to install our cotter pin. So that's going to be this hole right here. So we're going to put our socket back on it, and we're going to turn it until we can line up with our hole and install our cotter pin. We're now ready to install the cotter pin and we're going to bend our tabs over and we're done.